Hello there, it's time for testing training and uh, this is Inder P. Singh on today's class which is uh, how to write effective test cases quickly. If you have been assigned the task of uh, writing test cases then uh, you may have certain worries that uh, it may take you a long time and effort to write those test cases. Then you may be worried about uh, whether when the test cases you write are read by others whether they will be able to understand your test cases or not and if they are going to have problems uh, in uh, running your test cases and also you would like your test cases to be easily updatable whenever there are uh, certain changes that you need to implement in them well we can do all that so the question we are asking today is uh, how to write test cases quickly so that they are easy to write easy to understand by you when you read your own test cases after a duration of time or by others other than the author of the test case easy to execute also have uh, the minimum number of steps and also fast to execute easy to maintain easy to change uh, whenever uh, there are some desired changes you want to make in your test cases and have less number of mistakes so with this introduction let us look at uh, an ordinary test case uh, how it is written so here is an example of uh, a test case that uh, it has been written to test uh, the login functionality of a system now in the first column we have uh, the te uh, step numbers 1 2 and 3 and uh, one is uh, the test case ID then uh, in the steps column the second column we have uh, all the steps and then the third column is the expected results column where ha we have the expected result for every step so let us go to step number one so in order to check whether the login functionality of the application is working correctly or not what the tester has done is uh, they have written a step enter a valid username and valid password and click on the login button so this is an example of a positive test by positive I mean that the correct inputs are given to the system and the system has to give the correct output which is the expectation and exactly that we can see in the expected results against this particular step it says the application should display the home page now after the first step is executed what the tester now wants is to give a negative inputs that means it is a negative test some or all of the inputs are going to be incorrect and basically the application should error out or provide some kind of feedback to the user saying that uh, the inputs are incorrect and uh, they need to redo their operation so the step here is log out of the application enter a valid username but an invalid password so here the inputs are partially incorrect so this is a negative test so if the valid username but an invalid password is given and the login button is clicked then the application will not work uh, it will not give the correct result of showing the home page instead the expected result here is the application should display an error message and reopen the login page basically the application should say that uh, you have provided incorrect inputs and ask the user to perform the login operation once again then in step 3 this is uh, another example of a negative test but here all the inputs are incorrect so it says log out then enter an invalid username and an invalid password so make sure the user is logged out of the application then enter a username which is invalid and a password which is invalid meaning that a username that does not exist in the application data store 
and a password that does not exist in the application data store and click on the login button here since it is a negative test the application will not uh, proceed as expected but the expected result says the application should display an error message and reopen the login page basically the same expected result that is there in step number two now there are some problems with this uh, ordinary test case well what are the problems well the first problem is uh, that uh, there is a lot of text over here so first uh, it's a positive test and uh, that is fine and then uh, a lot of uh, typing has been used to describe what kind of negative input is to be given and uh, there is uh, duplicity also the same expected result is uh, copied from uh, 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 step number two to step number three and also if you notice carefully this does not test all the neg negative combinations for example it does test for valid username and valid password how about not giving a username and not giving a password and just clicking on the login button well that is not covered here then an invalid username and a valid password that means a username that does not exist in the application data store but a password that does that combination is not there so this is uh, an example where the tester has compromised well they have uh, covered some testing in the sense that uh, they have both positive tests and negative tests but all the possible combinations which the real users of the application may give those are not tested over here and uh, also it uh, takes a uh, lot of time to write because uh, there is a uh, lot of uh, text over here so what is the solution well in order to tell you the solution i need to rewrite this test case and uh, this is uh, what i have written so the test case id 2 is the same test case as test case id 1 but it has been written differently now how i mean it is written differently well it has the different steps over here and you can see that the very first step says verify the following username and password combinations and there is a legend which says V means valid and I means invalid and in the expected results it says E means an error message and H means the home page now since there is just one step and it asks to verify all the combinations now very little typing is involved so if you write your test cases like this you will end up spending much less effort in typing uh, out the text of the test case so here there are multiple combinations so as we can see first the username is blank and the password is blank and the expected result is E which means that the application should display an error message then it is blank and I which means username is blank but and the password is invalid some invalid password which does not exist in the application data store again there is an error message then it is a blank username and a valid password one of the existing passwords in the application but again the expected result is an error message and so on and so forth it tests all the combinations and also in the end it does a positive test it gives a valid username and valid password and here the application displays the home page now if you notice the differences between test case 1 and 2 test case 1 is the ordinary test case which took longer time to write and also the coverage of the test case was not as good as the test case 2 test case 2 is faster to write it required less effort in typing out uh, the steps and the expected results it is very easy to understand because here instead of text we are mentioning blank 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 invalid blank valid 
then uh, invalid 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 valid it is very easy to understand it is also fast to execute because th when at the time of execution or at the time of running the test case the tester need not read long sentences and try to understand their meaning and then uh, do uh, do those steps in the application it is also very easy to update so let us say that uh, it is not possible to give uh, a blank username and blank password it will not allow the user to click on the login button because the login button is disabled in case uh, the username and password fields both are blank then you can just delete this particular step so it is easy to update also and because it has been written in a systematic fashion chances of mistakes are less unlike the ordinary test case number 1 where there is a lot of text and chances of mistakes are very high unless someone spends a lot of effort in going through the entire steps and the expected results and make sure everything is correct so this is how you write test cases quickly and you get the additional benefit that your test cases are more effective they are easier to write they are easier to understand they are faster to execute easier to update so you get not only you can write test cases in less effort but you get the other advantages also now just uh, one explanation about the combinations over here now as you can see there are in the test is design there are three possible values for the username and again three possible values for the password by three possible values of the username i mean it can either be blank which means no username is specified or it can be an invalid username which does not exist in the application or it can be a valid username so there are three possible values for username and there are three possible values for the password so 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 is the number of combinations so if you look closely so here it is blank and blank then the value of blank username continues over here for three times and the password iterates it values blank invalid valid then again the value of invalid username continues for three times and again we iterate or means we run the values of password which are blank invalid and valid and again we have the value v for the username which means it is a valid value and again we put the same Di three different values in the same order so this way you can have 3 times 3 nine combinations so all possibilities of blank invalid and valid username and blank invalid and valid password are given over here so this is how you can write more effective test cases much more qu quickly and also get very good side effects that your test cases are easy to understand they are easy to execute easy to update and also have much less mistakes than if you write the test cases in the normal fashion so i recommend that uh, you use this particular approach to cut down on your effort your time of writing the test cases because test cases are written before uh, testing is executed in many cases because uh, they serve as a guide they serve as a record of uh, what actually was uh, tested and also they help to aid the memory later on if you just want to refer what you tested a couple of months ago then you can just refer to those executed test cases at that time and then you can remember what exactly was tested so in many cases test cases uh, are written Uh, it is not always uh, exploratory testing so whenever you are writing test cases uh, follow these approaches and uh, you will be able to write your test cases uh, faster and much more effectively now let us take a moment to recap what we have learnt so 
how to write test cases effective test cases quickly so that they are easy to write easy to understand easy to run easy to change and have less mistakes the solution lies in having using tables in the test case so that you spend your effort and your intelligence in designing the different tests not in the actual typing of the text typing of the text is uh, not very beneficial activity you would better spend the same time and your intellectual capabilities in designing the different interesting tests that are likely to throw up uh, uh, bugs in the application another thing you can do is instead of uh, copying text from other requirements such as uh, requirements uh, documentation you can simply refer to those ids in the other documents so that is going to save you time because instead of uh, copying the text then uh, copying and pasting text in your test case uh, takes some time so instead of uh, doing that operation simply refer the other id and the document name and it also uh, serves you another indirect purpose whenever the source document changes so let us say something changes in the source document you need not update the text within your test case because you are simply referring to the source document so even if the source document something changes because you are referring to it so you need not do any updates in your already written test cases always keep in mind that uh, you need to uh, declutter your test cases if you try to declutter your test cases by using uh, all these uh, uh all these uh, recommendations by using tables by uh writing uh, very little text and uh, referring other documents etc so you will find that you are able to write effective test cases which have uh, better coverage interesting uh, test design and uh, you will be able to write your test cases quickly well that is all for uh, this video if you like this video make sure that uh, you give a like or share it uh, using uh, social media and also subscribe to the channel testing training so that is all for today and see you next time thank you